Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is G-Man, My World 67, out in the train room working on the layout. And as you can see, I've torn out uh, this section of the layout and I've just cut this 2 before and am placing it in. Uh, for new framework to expand the, the layout from here. I don't know if you can see that or not. From here to here. That's what we're doing. Which will allow us to come uh, better from here and come on around without having such a steep curve as it was uh, in there to deal with a uh, tight curve and uh, gives us more room for expansion also as far as some of the other things uh, that I wanted to do on the layout uh, hopefully um, these old 34 curves are going to work out. I might have to put a straight in. And I don't know how I would do that yet, but I might have to put a straight, a half straight, in this section uh, of curve right here. And none of this is, I've just got it all reset in. None of it is uh, fastened down. And so I was just trying to get an idea of what we could do uh, with the curves. As I showed you in a previous video, I brought that back on around and took the um, switch out that was uh, back in that corner, in that section that led off. Uh, in under the mountain. And I think it's going to be much better. I've got a couple of American Flyer switches too uh, that Kent sent me uh, with the track to uh, try to work with the American Flyer track, uh, with the uh, Marks track. And of course they will mount up, but uh, it's a, they're heavier switches. And I don't know whether I want to try to put another switch in back in that corner or not. But, as for now, uh, we're getting this together. And I just wanted to do a quick uh, update, show you how the progress was coming. I'm gonna, I got a stud I got to put in uh, right here. It's another brace. And then we'll put a leg on this right here in the center. And I might do a back bracing uh, of another leg back here. But I, I don't think it's going to be necessary. Don't plan on doing a lot of standing on it. And I won't be standing on it at all, I hope. Uh, but I built this actually, um, when I originally built it, it, it would stand about about 500 pounds of weight on top of it. Uh, it's really sturdy. I, I just build things like that. I don't know why. Um, so I want them to last and be strong. So it, it'll hold quite a bit of weight. But I'm a big guy and I shouldn't be up that high anymore anyway. But that's where we're at. Uh, just a quick video, just to show you uh, what, what, what I've done so far. I uh, was able, I wasn't able to work on it this weekend, and so. But here's the, uh, the piece that I cut to go in this. In this section, 
just finished notching it out a little more so that it's a tighter fit, better fit. I had to trim it down a little bit. That's going to go there. And it should come together real, real nicely. Now when I added this section on and I redid this layout uh, the last time, uh, I don't know whether you paid attention or you, you noticed it or not, but this section here, this uh, bookcase that holds the uh, the shelves that holds the uh, the trains was actually out to here you can see the mark on the floor so it was kind of like an island and then I decided I really wanted to have more room uh, at the base of the uh, mountain area and so I took it back and built all this section in here worked out great one thing though, because um, I was using this CD plywood uh, and it's almost half inch, I think it's three quarters, something like that. Um, it's a little thicker and so the way it worked out it came out a little higher than the actual surface um, using scrap materials to do it. And so uh, now um, I've got to overlap it, which is good because it, it actually brings me out even uh, in the end. Um, when I put this on, I've got to raise it up on this end a little more and raise this frame up a little more. And uh, then when I screw all this down, That'll all be even, and that'll give me a little ridge along here. Um, that's that's good because back here, this is a little higher, and it comes up. You can see how that track is raised up, and so that that will take care of that. Uh, it's just it's funny how when you when you're doing things, you always have a little extra uh, that you got to do in order to. That you don't catch the first time around uh, sometimes and so that'll give me an opportunity to take care of that I think when it gets done this time hopefully I believe this is going to be the final uh, like I say I want to work on this other side of it too but these will be the final uh, hopefully adjustments that I have to make uh, to this layout as far as expansion is concerned and we'll get it together and uh, we'll do another uh, video on it this week hopefully and come back and let you know how we're doing shout out to Gary uh, John Long to Kenny Ken, excuse me uh, to all you guys, uh, I know it's cold now. We're, we're in winter season. You guys are more in the winter season on the east, uh, in the east, and than we are in this region. Uh, but it's cold here too now. So it was cold and rainy, um, but it stopped raining. I thank God for that because I don't like ice. I don't mind snow, but I don't like ice. Unfortunately, we don't get a lot of snow. But anyway, I saw uh, the snow in a couple of you guys' videos. And I know you might be tired of it, but I miss it. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, this is G-Man. And happy rails.